I'm ready for battle. You have a better chance of surviving than I do. Let's go join Rogue Squadron. This doesn't fit you. <laughs> ready, one, two, three. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> the magic of the force and editing. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Excuse me. Excuse Hello me. there. Hi, you had to sit on that side. Right, it's near the Christmas tree. Hello there, heroes and villains. Welcome back to another episode. Wait, hold on, hold on. It's this whole thing, I'm like. It sounds like Jingle Bells a little bit. <laughs> Hello there, heroes and villains. Welcome back to another episode with Always Believe. It's Star Wars Month. Again. It is Star Wars Month. Okay, some people argue that there is no Star Wars Month, but I feel like when there's a really big premiere going on, like Book of Boba Fett for this month, I consider it Star Wars Month. Ever since The Force Awakens coming out in December, mm -hmm. it's been Star Wars Month. I know it's the holidays this month. Happy holidays to everybody here, but it's Star Wars mm -hmm. Month. It's Star Wars Month. <laughs> <laughs> we are very grateful that Heroes and Villains is supplying this month's Star Wars unboxing. You have so many Heroes and Villains jackets. You're right. One of my favorite things that Heroes and Villains puts out is their bomber jacket series. Their clothing is very bound worthy. Give you that everyday Star Wars look. Mm -hmm. I have one! Jacket Yay! now, finally. Yeah. This one's mine, not That yours. one's yours. No, that's totally yours. Oh my gosh! I haven't seen any girls wear it yet, though. I'm happy to be somebody to wear this. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Ahsoka bomber jacket. I love the detail on here. I think my favorite part is the back, though. So these have the Ahsoka, Ahsoka's markings on it, on the back and right there on the front. Yeah. And then this part right here is the pattern from her Leku, which is really cool. I think that's like the most iconic part of her look. Like the diamonds from her, her saber mm -hmm. and oh, her armband. No way. So that's like her skin tone coming through, like the orange yeah. of her skin. Yeah, oh my gosh. Of course, orange. <laughs> Makes sense. Ooh la la, let me put it on. Sup, Sky Guy? <laughs> I'm not impressed. Ah, uh, snips. <laughs> hey, it looks really good on oh you. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm kind of jealous. I have my own bomb. Yeah, yeah. I finally have my own. Well, so I've good. always been jealous of you. It's all like embroidered. Like that's all stitched. That's not printed. Mm -hmm. And I do like too, like you were saying with the Leku being right there, that's kind of where her Leku where actually they would are. Be, huh? That makes total sense. Oh, check out your other arm on the backside. Oh, oh, I'm no Jedi. <laughs> I'm no Jedi. I am no Jedi. That's actually like rubber, it looks like. It's kind of like 3D embossed a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wear this on Batu and when the stormtroopers come out, I'm gonna be like, I'm no Jedi. <laughs> That's your new escape plan. I'm no Jedi. It's at the right here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now that you have your own uh, bomber jacket, I think it's only fair that I got a, an, another bomber jacket as well. It's only fair. It's only fair. It's only fair. <laughs> so I already have two bomber jackets. I have the Imperial TIE Fighter bomber jacket, and I also have the Jedi jacket, which I love. I mm -hmm. wear that one all the time. All the time. It's stinky. It's Sorry. Stinky. <laughs> like, when do you expect Jedi to take a bath? Like, have you seen Anakin's hairdo? Like, he does not wash that, I don't think. <laughs> it is the Rogue Squadron Mission Bomber Jacket. Embroidered patch on the front. You can see the back, Rebel insignia. Little symbols on the side are just like the ones that are on the helmet. So Ooh, la, this la. is comfy. But I love the stripes on the side too. It's just like a real military jacket or like, like a NASA astronaut jacket. Mm -hmm. You'd see some of the pilots would wear. Patches. You got the Battle of Yavin, Echo Base Rogue Squadron for the Battle of Hoth. And then this other one, Rogue Squadron, we had to do a little Arabesh translating. Did you see the zipper pull? It also has Arabesh on it? I think that one says Rebel on it. All these little fun details. Isn't there a term for like wearing military regalia when you haven't been in the military. Yeah, it's called illegal. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. These are fake battles. Cool. These are not We lived those battles. I've watched those movies so many times. I feel like I've lived those battles. My helmet. This is your helmet. I know. But can I borrow it for yeah, a little bit? Because yeah. I, I have to go join Rogue Squadron. That's why it's my helmet. It doesn't fit you. It doesn't fit me. <laughs> I feel like wearing this helmet, I would crash and burn so fast. Yeah. How many fingers am I holding up? I have no peripheral right yeah. now. <laughs> I think you're ready for battle. I'm ready for battle. I think you have a better chance of surviving than I do. Yes, because I can see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to put a cute Ahsoka look together for Batu. We should do a look one day of just like bomber jackets. Bomber jacket. Bomber jacket, but Batu? Bonanza. Batu, bomber jacket, bonanza bounds. Bounding on Batu with bomber jacket. Nope, you messed it all Dang up. Dang it, I messed up the flow. <laughs> What's another B word we can keep throwing in there? Boys. Um, boys. <laughs> We've been getting so much Star Wars like the past few months, I feel like. Mm -hmm. One of the things we just got recently was the show Star Wars Vision. It was our, unexpected yeah. a little bit. And it was kind of like our what if for Star Wars. Yeah, like Marvel exactly. Marvel got what if. Yes. Star Wars is in this renaissance period where like the Skywalker saga is technically done mm -hmm. and they're really starting to expand into like the High Republic now. Yeah. yeah, so Visions was, again, like it was unexpected, but it was really nice to kind of get a chance to see 
so many different artistic visions, if you will, of Star Wars. Enough about visions. <laughs> Vision me in this. Envision me in this. <laughs> this is so cute. Pretty like a lavender color. Our princess, our hopes. That's so cute. Look at Leia. This is like a really nice sweatshirt. And yeah. little, the little symbol on the side, like the little dots. You can see it's kind of 3D, symbol. it's a little puff. Mm -hmm. thing almost. The number one thing I like about new sweatshirts. What do you like about new sweatshirts? The inside, like that fleece feeling. Oh, that first soft feeling when you it slide it on. Have it. it does. It makes you like not want to ever wash it. I know. <laughs> I do that all the time. I'm always putting on brand new clothes. And you're like, you gotta wash it. I know. You gotta wash it the first time, but I just love this fleece feeling. Question for you guys Do you wash your clothes right away when you get new things, or do you like to just wear them? You always want to wear them right away. Yeah, if you get like a new brand new shirt, sometimes it's like really crisp. It has all those chemicals on it. So like I keep it say, nice. I say wash it. We always argue about this. Yeah. Let us know what you guys do because I'm curious. I want to be right. <laughs> right. I need them to validate this for me. But at the same time, yeah, this is so cute. I would probably put this on right away. What did you get? So this looks like Darth Vader's TIE fighter, almost like a close-up shot of like the moment from the trench run. Oh, oh yeah, because that, that's how that style is where it shows like one scene and then another perspective of that scene. Exactly. So it's him on the inside. Oh, that's fun. Let's do a magical transition shot. No, no, do it like this. Oh, we're gonna do it like that? Like TikTok does it. Like the kids do, Brian. Ready, one, two, three. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> the magic of the force and editing. It was so comfy. I know. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm a in Cloud City. Mm, a cozy Cloud City. Mm. <laughs> Show's over. We're just gonna sit here now in our cozy sweatshirts. <laughs> we're just turning into cuddly pandas. Stylish. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, you know what these are for? Uh. <laughs> did you do that as a kid? Or did you chew that? on them? I did a lot. I won't do it. The dad that is calling me, Ashley. It's calling you to get a haircut. Right. <laughs> How do you do the emperor again? Like this. Yeah, do 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 like this. No, 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 you're doing too frowny down. It's kind of more in this. Like that. Like this. Like there you go. I need to like that. Ah, join the dark there side. Go. There you go. Ew. That's too job of the hut. I'm no, sorry. No, there. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have one last thing to show you guys today. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so Heroes and Villains just started putting out water bottles. Ooh la la. I love the color of that one. Yeah, this is like a military green for Boba Fett. Ooh. It's got the Mythosaur skull. I actually have a shirt like this. It's the lounge set. Oh, I love that color. Oh, I might change my mind. Oh, no, this one's pretty cool too though. The Imperial Stormtrooper. That is pretty cool. Right? The cool thing about everyday Star Wars in Disneyland, there's refillable water bottle stations all over the park. Not only just on Batu, but Batu has the most amount of refillable water. Bottles. It's the most fun one too, because you have the little Dianoga eyeball pops mm -hmm. up in the water as mm -hmm. you're filling it and you're like, oh, am I about to drink this? Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, extra flavor. She filters it just for you. Oh, exactly. I forget to drink enough water throughout the day. We're drinking blue milk. We're, we're having drinks at Oga's Cantina. I need to buy a bottle of water is like, Ridiculous. It'll be great to bring some of these to the park and then refill it. So I have my, my Rebel backpack. It fits right in the sides. You got water. What about two? Here's the uh, Imperial sling bag. Get in there. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. I love when things fit perfectly like I know. That. Yeah, all their stuff is just like made to go with each other. So. I love that. <laughs> Anyways, guys. We gotta go. So we want to thank Heroes and Villains for having us, and we want to thank you guys for watching. You guys still need to pick up some stuff for Christmas. Ton of sales right now going on still this month. And if okay. you don't have a sale for some reason, you can use our code Always Believe for twenty percent off your entire order. Anything else you still want to see Heroes and Villains make? Mm -hmm. Leave comments down below. Yeah. Something you would like to see. Heroes and Villains is a brand for the fans, so as the fans, let them know what you want to see. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications bell here on YouTube and on your phone. We're going to be doing a lot more episodes with Heroes and Villains. And if you want to hang out with us more, you can check out our channel, Always Believe. We do a lot of fun trips going to Disneyland, to Galaxy's Edge. Disneyland is Galaxy's Edge. They're two separate things to me. But, <laughs> but we also do like cosplay conventions, and we also do episodes sometimes from home, so be sure to check out our channel, Always Believe. And I just want to say, who says that the way you dress has to be neutral and boring and plain and fit in with everything? I say dress in a way that makes you happy. And if Star Wars makes you happy, like it makes us happy, then wear it on your person. Dress in the way that makes you happy. Dress in the way that makes you happy. So until our next episode, always believe. See you later, heroes and villains. Bye.